Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today, we're going to cover a topic I've been meaning to cover for ages. That is the legality of moving your assets from one engine to another. Now, just yesterday, I did a video about uh, a new plugin to make it easy to move from uh, Unity to Unreal. And obviously, in the comments, there are questions about the legality of doing it. And that's exactly what we're going to look at today. Is this legal to do? Now, I got to start things off with a very quick disclaimer. I am not a lawyer, which by the way is the most unfortunate acronym ever, but uh, don't take legal advice from me. I do read, I'm going to show you my sources here where I come to my conclusions. And I honestly think this one is super clean cut, but once again, I'm not a lawyer, so uh, you're not getting legal advice from me. We'll start with Godot because it is by far and away the easiest. They do not have a commercial asset store yet. Uh, so that means right now they have their asset library and their asset library is 100% just free open assets. So in the case of Godot, no worries at all. Uh, basically everything there is either going to be MIT, GPL, Boost, License, whatever. Uh, so obviously you're gonna have to adhere to those licenses and some of those licenses such as GPL can be, uh, what's the word, problematic. Uh, but the actual assets themselves Else, you should have no problem going from Godot. Now, Godot is going to evolve once they actually get their asset store in place. It'll be interesting to see what licensing terms they have. We do not know these details yet, but I imagine they'll be pretty open to moving between platforms. Next up, we have Unreal Engine. Now, the Unreal Engine marketplace makes this super, super crystal clear. There's no question here. You can use Unreal Engine assets, which is actually kind of very nice, because if you did not know, uh, the first Tuesday of every month, Epic Games actually gives away a number of assets completely free, and the majority of these assets you can actually use in other game engines, which is, again, very cool. So the reason why I said, is it very clear? Well, they, they actually have an FAQ here uh, that makes it uh, about as clear as it gets. Can I use these products in other game engines like Source or Unity? And the answer is yes. Any marketplace product that has not been created by Epic Games can be used in other engines uh, unless otherwise specified. Please note that products purchased from Marketplace cannot be sold back to Marketplace after alterations. So obviously that's saying you can't take an asset from the uh, Unreal Engine Marketplace, change it a bit, and then upload it back to the Unreal Engine Marketplace, which is kind of a bit of a no-brainer. But as long as the asset wasn't provided by Epic Games or kind of an Epic Games program, you can use it. So what you're going to find, and I'll give you a good example of this, uh, they released... Uh, Paragon assets. So this is a game that is dead, uh, but they released a lot of the, the characters, etc. from it. Uh, these were released ages ago. But you'll notice these are actually tagged as epic content. So right here, it says epic content. I believe it says it one other time in here as well. So anything marked as epic content? No you can't use. Anything else, generally, yes, you can. And they make it, again, super clear uh, what the licensing there is. You'll also find, uh, if you go into like the EULA for marketplace sellers, there's more clarification language there. But like I said, Unreal Engine makes this super crystal clear with their FAQ uh, by saying, yeah, you can use it in other engines such as Source and Unity. Obviously, that would apply to Godot as well. Again, you can't redistribute these things as assets. You have to use them in a derived work, etc. But yes, you can definitely use Unreal Engine assets in other games game engines, except for stuff like this Paragon asset, uh, which is specifically released by Epic Games for free. So just the Epic stuff is where it gets a little questionable. And the Epic stuff also extends to companies Epic owns. So for example, uh, the Quixel Mega Scan stuff, uh, that is again, requiring an Epic license, which by the way, if you are using Unreal Engine, you can use this stuff for free, but you just can't use it in other engines. So uh, that is the details when it comes to Unreal Engine assets. And then we get into Unity. Now Unity doesn't make it super, super clear, but the licensing does. So uh, here is their EULA. Uh, and the key part here is basically here. And let's zoom this in a little bit. And what you're going to see is basically the grant of rights of what you're allowed to do with it. So 2.2 section, uh, this is for non-restricted assets. We'll get to what a restricted asset in just a minute is. It's kind of similar uh, to the setup that uh, Unreal Engine has for Epic Games specific stuff. But um, you have the right to incorporate the asset together with substantial original content not obtained through the Unity Asset Store into an electronic application or digital media that has a purpose, feature, and function beyond the display, performance, distribution, or use of assets uh, as an embedded component of that licensed product such that the asset does not comprise a substantial portion of the licensed product. So that last part is basically saying you can't use the asset as an asset. So you have to use it in a derived work, uh, but they're very non-limited in what you can do there, and you can reproduce, dis uh, publicly display, uh, publicly perform, transmit, distribute the asset as incorporated or embedded into that licensed product, uh, and also you 
you can use it in advertising. There's literally nothing here to say that it has to be tied specifically to the Unity game engine. Now, they don't have a, like an explicit comment like what you do in the Unreal Engine side where it says straight out, yes, you can do this. So Unreal Engine, there is no ambiguity at all. The way it works with um, Unity is basically, I read through the entire terms of service, all of this stuff, um, and, and it's a very, very fun read, I'll tell you that. Uh, and there's nothing here to say that you can't use it in other game engines. So um, that's one of those things definitely be aware of. And the other thing that I've actually found really interesting this is in what I just read, it kind of makes it sound that you can't use it for asset flips, which is very really interesting. So again, this uh, to incorporate the asset together with substantial original content not obtained through the asset store into a product or digital media. That's kind of interesting because it almost makes it sound like you can't use this asset with just a bunch of other Unity asset stores to make an asset flip, which is I've never seen anyone bring that up before, but that's how I read that. Again, I'm not a lawyer. I'm curious what you think of that comment there as well. But as far as their licensing goes, you seem to have the right to use their assets in other engines. Now, again, there is the aspect of a restricted asset. Now, what is a restricted asset? Well, here is an example. This is uh, a starter asset pack from Unity themselves. And you can tell it's a restricted asset because it says here, license agreement, non-standard EULA. So the standard EULA is literally what I just read from. So anything under the standard EOLA, which should be most of the asset store, you're good to go. Just make sure, check the license on each one. It might be a little bit different depending on which one you're working with, but you should be fine. But for these things, for the non-standard EULA, they are under a separate license. Uh, I believe it's generally the Unity Companion license. And this one just straight out says... Um, exercise all license granted herein is permitted as long as it is in connection with the authoring and or distribution of applications, software, or other content under a valid Unity content authoring and rendering engine software license. So that one is very explicit. For the Unity stuff, you can't. But frankly, in most circumstances, you can move from one engine to the other and bring your bot assets over with you. And the good news is I've got you pretty much covered here no matter which way you want to go. So for example, I have done guides in the past for moving from Unity to the Godot game engine. Uh, there's actually some really cool tools that can make this a almost one-click process. So if you want to go ahead and check that one out, I will link this down below. On top of that, I did one from exporting from Unreal Engine to Godot Unity or Blender. So if you want to get some of those uh, free Unreal Engine assets from the monthly giveaway, maybe just start hoarding them even if you're not using unreal because hey who knows someday you might be changing your engine for you know reasons uh, and then we've got also i did and this one's getting a little bit older but i did a generalized guide on how to export from unity out to other game engines uh not really specifically using any external tools or anything just how you can do it uh and i kind of show you uh that process there so if you've got a bunch of things that you purchased uh from the asset store on unity and you want to say move away don't worry you're not a hundred percent tied in and then i covered yesterday again that cool tool called Utu that shows you from moving from Unity to Unreal Engine. And the ultimate question is, is this legal? And the ultimate answer appears to be yes, asterisk. And that asterisk for both the cases of Unity and Unreal Engine is except for content from Unity and content from Epic Games. Any other content? Yep. So anything you bought, you can move it, no problem at all, unless, of course, that vendor did a specific license. They did a non-standard uh, license to the asset store. That's a very rare thing, but do make sure to check for that. But for the most part, yep, you should be good to go. So uh, yeah, good news. You're not as tied down as you think you are. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. And I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.